Hello everybody, it's me, producer Ross, and welcome to a new video on Kings of Anglia. Today I'm joined by Liam, David and Thomas, as I am the genie, giving the wishes to them, the wishes for 2021 for town. 2020 was a terrible year for the world and also sporting town, so hopefully it's a better year for us all. So, I'm going to chuck the first wish over to Liam. What is the first one for yourself, my friend? Uh, for me... It would be good to actually see players stay fit for longer than five minutes. Um, obviously, your boy Grion, we want him back. Uh, and obviously, Kane Vincent Young back if possible, though that might take a little while. But how good would it be to see a midfield three of Dezel, Bishop and um, Downs uh, in that midfield three? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, who knows? Will it make much of a difference? I don't know, but they're certainly much better players than what we've got out at the moment, much more experienced. So it can only hopefully lead to better things, surely. But they need to sort this out because it's been going on for such a long time. So that's one wish down, Liam. Over to you then, David. Your first one. It's related to what Liam said, but it's a slightly wider one in the whole coaching of the club seems wrong. So Liam has got the injuries, which comes down to having a um, fitness coach who's arsing himself around in Scotland somewhere, um, doing steeplejacking in Glasgow or something. Um, don't know what happened to the sports science. That seems to have disappeared at the same time as Hurst um, started off to Grimsby. Um, but we haven't defended properly. Mick had complaints about... Um, individual errors at the back, not being able to pick up a, for a cross or something. It's the same errors time and time and time again. And I know we've got Butcher in now, working with the under-23s. Why haven't we got a proper coach for defending for the first team? So if you had a proper fitness coach, proper defence science, then all of those other things that Liam was talking about would work as well. And um, over to you then, Thomas, your first wish to round off the first wishes. Well, my first wish would be for the um, to play players in natural position. I mean, we've seen it so many times this season. Edwards has been started on the right and then he moves over to the left and he's been looks so much better in his proper position. Um, Freddie, for me as well, he, he's not never has been a winger or you know that type of player. He's a striker. So, And then obviously Chambers as well. I know he's been put there because of injuries. KBY hasn't been fit. But we've got Dinashian. So why has Dinashian not come in to fill that void? Um, so for me, yeah, it's to play the players in their right positions. And I think we'll get, we'll get better out of them, better out of the team. A bit more of a focus on the team and it'll just flow better. Um, we'll get built more better performances, especially when injuries, like Liam said, once injuries start getting better, then we'll pick up better. So that's my first wish. Over to you then, Liam, again, to give you your second wish. What is it? Well, kind of moving on from our first wish and, and kind of linking it to what Thomas just said there about playing better. Um, actually, this playing better and having a much stronger first team out to be able to beat some of these um, top divisional rivals um, at the top of League One. Uh, we haven't beaten one yet uh, this season and we only got two wins uh, from them last season um, so it really needs to improve um, if Town are going to continue to be a player in terms of trying to get back into the championship so for me um, it's actually winning some of these games and it's not just winning one game, uh, we need to see them actually win maybe two or three against some of these rivals to actually show that it isn't just a flash in the pan um, and that they are able to compete and give the fans more confidence that they can compete with the teams uh, in this division. Thomas, over to you then, your second wish. Yeah, uh, mine was the same. Obviously, it's gone on for too long now. We haven't beaten a promotion side this season, as Liam said. And it's, I think uh, me and there's a bit other people alluded to it as well. It's just like a never-ending circle. We just we beat the teams at the bottom or at least get a draw against them. And then we go up against the top six, top eight side and we fall to them once again. And it's just, it just carries on, carries on, carries on. We're just going to end up 
finishing out of the playoffs if this carries on. I know there's teams around us that keep dropping points, um, which has been life saving for us and for Lambert in some to some degree. But it just if we want to pick up our seeds and, and to actually get somewhere, we need to beat these teams. And if we're not, then we're not going to get promotion, which is what we all want. Um, over to then, David, your second wish. Use it wisely. What is yours? <laughs> um, it, I suppose it sort of links in quite nicely. It's to do with the squad itself, because I think that the squad... I know we talked a lot about the fact that we've got the best squad on paper. It's a much larger squad than other teams have got. But it's full of people who are underperforming. It's got people who have been underperforming for um, what seems like decades. And it, I, I want the management this transfer window to sit down and go, right, this is a right back. He's permanently injured, so he's not a right back. He's so pff, over there. This is a right back. This is a central defender. This is a central defender. This is their understudy. And you, you I earmark the players who you think are good enough, who perform week in, week out, or those who've got the potential to. If you don't perform week in, week out, and you haven't done for several years now, then, frankly, piss off to the stiffs. If somebody's prepared to take your wages off us in January, then great. If not, then rot. Um, because this is our 22 first-team players. These are the ones who are competing. The rest of you, out of the window. And that sort of narrowing it down, giving a very specific focus to these are the players of the future of the club, the rest of you are not, rather than just going, well, we've got 400 players under contract. I don't care. I want 22 players who are hungry to play and good enough to play in the first team now. So, David, you've got an organised squad. who have got coaches to coach the team. Your last wish, my friend. Um, if you've got the coaches, if you've got the squad in place, playing, like Thomas said, in their correct positions, then you can start playing a proper style of football. I want to see an aggressive, pressing game of football where we get in people's faces, we camp in their socks, we don't give them space. I don't care about having 78% possession or 168 passes across the edge of the penalty area. It means absolutely sod all. I want to see the type of football we had in the first half of the season under McCarthy and the season we got the playoffs. Up until that Southampton game where McGoldrick got injured, all Murphy's goals dried up and it all went tits up. Up to that point, we were doing that. We were pushing, we were pressing, we were aggressive. Like Rochdale, we had physicality about us. We didn't get bullied off the ball. We played attractive football because we were in charge of it. We had a swagger that said, we've got ball players, we've got hard cases, we can do this and we're taking you on. And you're not going to stand on the ball, you're not going to pass around us, we're taking you out if you do. And that's what I want to see. I don't care about the passing, I don't care about possession. Possession means nothing. Fast, aggressive football that doesn't let the opposition settle. That's what I want to see. Now, Liam, your final wish then. Well, I mean, if we can sort the injuries out and we can obviously start beating some of the better teams, then, like what David was saying, hopefully the football will be better. And I think a lot of that will be linked to the way that we're playing in the formation that we're playing. Um, the 4 3 3 clearly isn't working at the moment without the players who are on fit. Um, and it's not just the formation, it's the philosophy behind it in the fact that everything, as David has said, is all possession-based. Um, and I want to see more quick, dynamic football. I've said this before, being direct doesn't mean you're just hoofing the ball up route one and pinging it anywhere for someone to chase onto. Being direct just means that you're distributing the ball backwards to the front quicker. Um, and hopefully, if that happens, and we've seen it before when Town have had little glimpses of just playing at a higher tempo, that we can outplay teams. And I think if, uh, if we can do that on a more consistent basis, then the results will start to be more regularly in Town's favour. And over to you then, cool. Thomas, the final wish for yourself. What is it? Well, we've obviously got a squad now, we've got coaches, we've beaten the top six teams, we're playing a better, better player football, we're not pissing it around at the back, you know, so um, got, you know, injuries are gone, so obviously we want promotion, um, 
and we want promotion with a with a side that's capable of staying up in the championship and become an established championship side again. We don't want to be a, like a yo-yo team, like a Rotherham or those kind of teams that are going to come straight back down again. We want to go back up, establish ourselves in the championship, and effectively just gradually improve, improve. Um, so you know that's the way for Ipswich. Um, after all our wishes, but of course, if you're if your genius skills are absolutely rubbish, then we want Lambert out. So, <laughs> well, I don't know really. This is the first time I've ever been a genie, so let's see if uh, my lamp, uh, when you rub it, works. Oh dear, I'm, I'm going to move on and echo <laughs> this video now. But Liam, David, Thomas, thank you for joining me as ever. Let us know Pleasure. in the comments down below your wishes for 2021 for town. Hopefully, it's a better year supporting the club. But, anyways, that is it for today's video.